Well, after 14 years, Simon Bridges has signed off from Parliament. Uh, he said one of the major reasons that he'd retired from politics was to put his family first, which is always a good reason. But he did his valedictory speech last week, and he made some really good points, which I'd like to highlight in this episode. <laughs> So I think even Simon Bridges would agree that he's had a fairly tumultuous time as a politician, especially as leader of the National Party, leader of the opposition, and also he was in cabinet with John Key when National were in power. But last week he said haidira, he signed off from uh, being a politician. And um, a couple of key points in his valedictory speech that I just wanted to highlight. And the first one he uh, talked about uh, that I want to show you is about being true to convictions uh, and going into Parliament with those convictions and holding on to them rather than just being poll driven. Have a listen. Well, senior MPs, I make this plea. Please, please, let's not be quite so poll and focus group driven. They will make you nice and beige and timid, in short, wishy washy. And as, a, as small as our remote little islands are, it's five million people. 26 million sheep, 10 million cows, and 100 million or so native birds deserve better. You were elected for your values, principles, character, and judgment, and to be bold in pursuit of them. If the people wanted a robot these days, they could probably buy one on the internet. And as I think John Howard once told me, good policy is almost always good politics in the end. And as maybe David Farrow or some other pollster once told me, polls and focus groups don't or at least shouldn't tell you what to do. They should only ever be an aid, helping you to decide how to get to where you think is right. Let's more often do what we think is right and lead the polls and the people to where they should go for New Zealand, not follow them to a place where the breadth of opinions those we vocalise anyway in this house and the press gallery become narrower and narrower and beige and beige. Nice beige land rather than New Zealand, please, no way. Yeah, very good comments. Uh, stick to your convictions, uh, not be poll driven, not sort of go, you know, which way uh, is, is the wind blowing? Uh, and I think uh, one statement I, I heard or uh, mantra that was used was, you know, I have, I have some uh, convictions and if you don't like them, I have some others, uh, and we don't want politicians like that. We want them to go in and stick to their their principles that they've gone into Parliament for, in which they're representing the people for. He also talked about um, sometimes when he had to vote um, on certain bills which were controversial, and of course he was one of the few voices, uh, in fact there were only eight MPs, who opposed the conversion therapy bill uh, on the basis of that it didn't protect families, it didn't protect pastors, and it didn't protect um, self-determination and he makes a comment about that sounds so negative it's been great while there have been lows as I say there have also been highs and it's the little things that make it all worth it like an email I received after my lonely vote just weeks ago on the conversion therapy bill dear Simon I have always thought you are one of the worst and most hopeless MPs in Parliament. <laughs> but I do want to thank you for voting no on the conversion practices vote. For once in your career, you got it right, yours faithfully. <laughs> High praise, and like I say, it's the little things that make it worth it, Mr Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Yeah, and uh, as you'll have seen in a previous episode that we did, uh, Simon Bridges actually had a very strong pro-family voting record. Very strong. Uh, and just finally, uh, one clip where he sort of uh, sums up his speech and it makes some really good points. Have a watch. As a conservative conviction politician, I'm somewhat out of favour these days. A young fogey, maybe. But politics ebbs and flows. And as with other things, maybe views like mine will move back into vogue one day. Conservatism to me is simply an instinct or a disposition. While we shouldn't be reactionary to changing times, we should carefully weigh the transaction costs of change. Like GK Chesterton said, there is usually a reason for the fence. And so before we tear it down, we want to think things through carefully. 
Yeah, very good point. Uh, it's, it's often a statement that I make is that before you tear a fence down, before you change the law if, um, and you tear that fence down, figure out why it was put up in the first place. It will be there to protect people like, for example, uh, euthanasia, like, for example, the fact that we've made drugs illegal because of the effect they had. Anyway, uh, there were some real pearls of wisdom there from Simon Bridges. Uh, we wish him all the best. He's putting family first. He has a new career. And he had a great voting record in Parliament. And for that reason, we will miss him. Go well, Simon.